Hi, I'm Marty Delakian from IAV International Audiovisual, and I'm here today to show you how to use your LCD projector when you want to do a laptop presentation. Well, the first thing is that we want to make sure that we're using the right cable, and usually the cable that you're going to be using is a VGA to VGA 15 pin to 15 pin cable. Now, we have equipment set up here, and we're using a PC with an LCD projector. You may have a Mac laptop that you'll be using. If so, you have to make sure that you have a VGA adapter, and that usually can be purchased at your Apple store. So let's take the cables and start here. We're going to plug one end into the computer, which is our output, and we're going to plug the other end, which is our input, into the projector. And what we're looking for is something that's going to say either RGB in or computer in. Now once the cables are connected, you should see an image up there on, from your laptop. In this case, we don't. So number one troubleshooting is going to be check your source. So there's a, usually a button on the projector that's labeled either source or input and you want to see what input you're on. Well in this case here we're on the video input so that's the wrong input. We want to be on a computer input. So we're going to bring it up again and toggle through here till we get computer one. Well we got the right input but guess what? We still don't have an image. So then we have to do troubleshooting number two and that's back at our laptop. If we go to the laptop, on the top section of the laptop are your F keys. And what we're looking for is an F key that's labeled either LCD, CRT, or maybe a picture of a monitor. And it's usually between F4 to F8. Well, in order to make that work, we need to hold down what we call the function key, which is labeled FN at the bottom of the laptop. Now, keep in mind that this is a three-way toggle. All right? And what I mean by that is that when you hit it one time, you're going to have the image on the laptop. When you hit it the second time, you're going to have an image on the screen. And when you hit it the third time, you're going to have an image on both. And that's what we want to try to find. So let's hold down our function key, and let's hit, in this case here, it's going to be F4, and see what happens. Well, we got the image on our screen, but guess what? I lost the image on my laptop. So I'm going to hit it one more time, and that's going to give me my image on the screen and my image on the laptop. So we're in good shape now. The only other thing you may want to do is adjust your zoom and focus, which can be done either at the projector in this case, or maybe through a remote control depending on your projector. And don't forget, if you do have audio on your presentation, you want to make sure you be able to get that out so that people can hear that as well. All right, so we have here an audio cable, which is a mini to mini cable. You need to plug the audio cable into the output of the laptop, which is going to be your line level out, and into the input of your projector which is going to be line in and that will be able to give you an audio. Most projectors have their own speakers in it but if you're using an independent sound system all you need to do is take this cable instead of going into the projector go into your mixer on an audio in input and you'll be able to project the audio through your sound system and that's all it takes. So listen you have a good presentation and if you ever have any questions don't ever hesitate to call IAV. We're always here to help you. Take care and see you soon.